Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to make a video about light wave in general and why I think there's every reason to be very hopeful about the software program and its future. So this video is called light wave 2020 hope for the future. I was going to call it the new hope, but I just decided to call it hope for the future. I could also call it 11 reasons why I think Lightwave is still a good program. So I'll just kind of go through them real quick. Some of these you might have heard before. The first reason I like Lightwave and I believe it's a good program is that one of the features it has pretty much unlimited render nodes. I believe it has up to 1000 nodes that you can use. So if you have a multiple computers at home, you can set up a network rendering and there's no extra cost. So associated with that. And so essentially we've got unlimited nodes that you can use to render out your Lightwave work. A lot of software programs today, a lot of 3D programs, you have to pay for rendering at a separate cost. And with Lightwave, you can have unlimited, pretty much unlimited rendering nodes. That's a very positive thing in Lightwave's favor is being able to do that. The second good thing about Lightwave, it basically can do anything that the other 3D programs can do. And there's a lot of competition out there, to be honest with you. I mean, there's at least probably 10 3D programs, if not more and Lightwave can do the same thing that any other program can do. You can do probably 99% of what you can do in Maya. You can do it in Lightwave. So it's still a very capable program. And this year, as a matter of fact, in 2020, it's 30 years old. So that's one of the good things about Lightwave is that it's not going anywhere. It's a solid program. It's been a solid program. The next thing that's good about Lightwave, the one thing that a lot of people like, and I know I like about Lightwave, is that you own the license. Yes, the program does cost money, but you own the license. And that's really a rarity in today's climate. A lot of things are going to the cloud, like Adobe went to the cloud and you have to pay a subscription fee. And so you end up paying for something whether you want it or not. And with Lightwave, you own it forever. Once you've got the program, you've got the program. There's no more fees to pay. You, you have it for the rest of your life. So that's another big plus for Lightwave. And I know that that's one of the reasons I really like it as well. Another great thing about Lightwave, one thing that's really fantastic is because it's been around for a while and it's like one of the original commercial commercial 3D programs. There's literally a ton of tutorials about Lightwave around. If you're wanting to know something about the program, you can Google it and 90% of the time you'll be able to find your answer. One of the criticisms of Lightwave actually has been that Modeler hasn't been updated. But the other side of that is that because it hasn't really been updated, a lot of these older tutorials are actually still applicable and are still relevant. So because Modeler hasn't changed, that's not necessarily good, but it is positive in that a lot of these older tutorials, and some of them are really great, are still relevant today. So that's another great thing about Lightwave is that it's got this long legacy of documentation and tutorials. Another thing that's good about Lightwave is that if you do have a crash or you do have a problem, you do have technical support available to you. I have to say from my own experience with having some crashes, it's very responsive. When I get a crash, I'll report it. And within that day, you usually get a response back, if not the next day. And so that's really a great feeling to have if you're having a, a problem with something. It's really nice to be able to talk to technical support right then and there, no extra cost, and maybe get the problem solved or hopefully get fixed on the next build. That's something that I really like about Lightwave too, is that you do have ongoing technical support. So that's a real plus. When I first got into Lightwave, I have to admit, I was pretty intimidated by the interface. But once I got everything figured out, I realized that it's very intuitive and, and it's very easy to get around. They don't use icons. They just use the name of what it is. I actually prefer that. I mean, rather than see a box, I would actually just rather see the word box. I've gotten very, very comfortable with Lightwave's interface. And in fact, when I've tried to get into other 3D programs, I just don't feel comfortable. No matter how much I try messing around with them, they just don't feel the same. I feel that once you get a good basic understanding of Lightwave, it's a very intuitive, very logical interface. And I think that that's one of the things that a lot of people like about it, because when it comes down to it, a lot of these 3D programs have the same functionality, but their interfaces are different. And so I think a lot of what you like about a program is just the way that it's laid out. And so there's not necessarily any right or wrong. It's simply just a preference. And once I got started in Lightwave, I come to really enjoy the interface and I can find whatever I need. But the other thing is, is that it's so customizable. It's so easy to bring plugins in and plugins out and to customize the interface really in any way that you want it. That's really a great feature of the program that I've always enjoyed actually. Another thing that 
that's great about Lightwave, and this is something that I really like about Lightwave, is that it truly is, it sounds like a cliche for them to say that it's production proven, but it really is production proven. In fact, in the film that won the Academy Award for Best Picture in 2018, Green Book, some of the, the special effects that were done in that, that was actually done using Lightwave. So Lightwave, yeah, you know, a lot of people may say that it's passe or it's not all this and that, but the truth is it is, it is production proven and it is being used in major feature films. So in my book, Lightwave doesn't really have anything to prove. It's proven itself. And so I like that fact that it has been used in so many productions and continues to be used in major feature films. In fact, Academy Award winning films. So that's another big plus for Lightwave. The other thing about Lightwave, and I, I know I've, I've seen mixed things about this, but it actually does have a fairly active, active forum. And I know some people have had maybe not the greatest experiences at the forum, but personally, I haven't had a bad experience and I've usually found everybody to be pretty helpful. I think that this is a great asset, this community. And I, I know a lot of people have been on the forum for a long time, but there really is a lot of wisdom and depth of knowledge on the forum. And so I think this is really a plus for Lightwave that it does have a fairly active and really a lot of depth on the bench in terms of the forum members. It's a real plus for the program, the forum itself, the community that there is. The other thing that's really great about Lightwave is that there's some very talented developers who support it. I think they deserve our recognition and support. One of the plugins is the Lightwave CAD, which is a fantastic, absolutely fantastic program. Another is, these are just for example, third powers here which has already been updated for 2020 and then of course DuPont who's always been great about providing these new and amazing plugins as well. The list kind of goes on and on and on but those are just three that come to the top of my mind. There's a lot of talented not only talented developers but artists that use and support Lightwave so that's another great thing about it and probably the last greatest thing about it the last reason is that Lightwave is in active development and for a time it looked like that maybe the program wasn't going to be developed and it used to not be developed every year but what we've had now is we had 2018 the program came out which was a major rewriting of the entire render engine so it was a brand new render engine with the PBR and then we had an update in 2019 and now we've just had another update with 2020 so Lightwave is under active development and we've had a new update every year now 2018 2019 2020 and I fully expect 2021 so it's not like I could see where maybe people were getting uh, nervous about it because it didn't look like much development was going on, but you can't say that now. The, the program is being actively developed and the changes are all exciting and they're all moving in a, in a really great direction. So if anything should give you hope for the future for Lightwave, it is the very fact that it is under active development. The last thing I'd like to say in, in closing is that I know that there are, of course, other 3D software programs to choose from. It wouldn't be fair for me to say all this stuff without saying some of the other side of things. And one of the things about Lightwave is that it's not free. You do have to pay for it, but I don't expect people to develop programs for free. I don't know where your people can expect to get programs for free. And I and I know it is hard to compete with for Lightwave to compete with Blender because it is a free program. But nevertheless, I don't mind supporting a program program if I feel that it's doing what I need it to do and I enjoy using the interface. So I feel that Lightwave, even though it's not free, it's really struck a middle path. And so it's not free, but it's not obscenely expensive either. And if you get in on an initial build of it, the upgrades are actually very, very reasonable. So like for 2020, if you for an existing user, I believe you were able to get it for $295, which in my mind is a very reasonable cost. The other thing about Lightwave is it isn't perfect. I don't know that any software is. Every software has its ups and downs. And of course, there are things that could be improved in it, but it's a complicated program and the technology is constantly changing. And I feel that improvements are being made. With regard to that, yeah, you know, it's not free and it's not perfect. The other thing, and this is kind of makes me sad in a way, apparently over the years, Lightwave has let some people down. There's some people that have used it for whatever reason, they've grown disenchanted with it or been upset and they've made their feelings known. I don't know what you can say about that. I feel like if Lightwave did let you down, 
time. I'm sorry that that happened, but it shouldn't be an indictment against everybody else who's still using the program and finding value in it. So even if Lightwave has let you down, I feel like that doesn't mean that it doesn't still have some value for people. So all you can really say is that there's many roads to Rome. So if you don't like using the program, then, you know, don't use the program. But there are a lot of reasons to use Lightwave, and there's a lot of reasons to be optimistic about the future for Lightwave. So I just wanted to give my two cents about this because I, I see some people coming online and they're making comments about Lightwave and this and that. And I really feel it's unfair to all the fine developers and all the fine artists that still use Lightwave and that it is still a very valuable program. And like I've kind of gone over with this list, there are reasons to use the program still in 2020. And I would suspect way into the future as well. That's all I had to say today. And I hope you uh, take care and, and I'll talk to you later.